What's up, everybody? Welcome back to R3 TV. Today is a new day. So, after after my last video, um, you've seen that I was at a stopping point of the ARP studs were too small. So, when I tell you that I bought about five different packs of these ARP extended studs to only for them to only be all the same size they say they're different sizes but it's not the size that i need so the ones that i've been buying are the honda 100-7711 771 7712 7715 like none of those none of them work so finally i just did a whole bunch of research i didn't see any information on anybody doing it um, see, these are 7712 that I bought that don't fit. So, I'm either going to put these for sale or I'm going to put the old um, hubs that I had. The, the original hubs that I, that I had that didn't fit. I think I'm going to put these in there and put those up for sale if anybody wants uh, hubs with uh, uh, ARP extended studs. I'll go ahead and put those in there and put them for sale um, if anybody wants something. Um... I can't find my parts. So I'm only I've only been buying one set at a time to figure out if it's really what I need. And um the other set, 7711, that doesn't fit. So finally, after much research, what you need for this swap is let me put it down so you guys can see. One hundred seven seven two five GM late model, so it's still twelve by one twenty five. But the um, the I cannot think of the name of this part right here, this piece. Anyway, it has to be a certain thickness to fit through, um, fit through the hub. So these were too small. These are the stock size, and I was finally able to find one that freaking fits in the. Hub. So these aren't these technically don't classify as extended studs. So if you look on here, these I think they'll say extended. These are just longer because they come from a different they're like GM model. But as you see, they're still much longer, much longer than the stock. So what I did, like I said, I was gonna do got all these bolts. I mean, uh, uh, washers, put it on there, put it on there like that, and then just pulled, pulled this all the way through. So I don't wanna ramble too much. Ramble too much. Um, I'm going to get the rest of these put in. I only got this side because I wanted to make sure they fit. So I'm gonna put this side in. I'm gonna get the knuckle put back together and hopefully put everything back on the car on this side or just start the the rack and pinion. Um, so I'm gonna get to this. Nice and flush, make sure it's all the way flush. No gap. It's in there. It's looking good already.
and there you have it folks extended ARP studs and the Acura CL hub and bearing that took way more work than it should be so just to compare I'll show you this is the like I said these aren't the extended ones but they're they're longer so technically they're extended than the stock ones and I'll show you what the original ones look like all right this is the stock length from the cord or CL and this is the RP ones so you see it's a good maybe good inch and a half um, if not more longer so that's good so the hub is finally done I can now put it back into the knuckle you get it all assembled and we can go from there all right so I gotta take the ball joint off I don't have the tool they didn't have it at AutoZone so I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way look it up on YouTube uh, basically you take the ball joint not this one but the new one you take it put it in the freezer um, I have a deep freezer in the, in the garage here put it in the freezer for about an hour and they get a torch or well, in my case I'm gonna try with a heat gun um, this I'm gonna just try it so basically you, you torch this side or heat this side up in the freezers ball joint and it should just slide in on um, to take it off I had to go get a snap ring tool I had one in my sh garage in my shed store shed but I didn't feel like going there so I just went out of zone and just gonna take the snap ring off and see if I can beat it out with my ball thing hammer and we'll see how it goes so here's the ball joint the new ball joint it's in the freezer it's pretty cold I'm gonna put it back in there for a little bit longer and ball joint i took this the snap ring off my snap ring pliers um snap ring just sits um around this part here so it can't come off but as you can see that's pretty destroyed so i got it out i'm gonna clean out inside here i'm gonna put a tad bit of grease in there just a little tiny bit um wipe it around there just so the new ball joint can go in very easily since I don't have the tool to do it and once that ball joint is in there I can stick the hub back on there and we'll be in business so I don't have a torch a blow torch that's what it says use uh, when I look up the videos I do have a heat gun um, I mean essentially it should be able to do the same thing uh, probably just take a lot longer um, so basically what I'm going to do is heat up the inside of this area here, heat it up really good, um, take the, and put some grease in there probably, take the ball joint out of the freezer and put it straight in here and it should be able to slightly tap it in, uh, and it should go in pretty smooth. See the steam still coming off of that. All right, so I was able to get it in. Um, that method did work. I kind of did have to beat on it a little bit um, just cause I don't think I heated it up enough with this torch, but obviously it worked. I got it in, I uh, hit it with this side of the hammer. It's kind of the rounded side. I didn't have a ball peen hammer. That's the, that's the thing you want to use, but um, you can see I got it all the way down to where I can put the snap ring around here and it's even all the way around for the snap ring to go in. So once I put the snap ring in, I should be good to go. All right, the snap ring is in. I don't know if you can see that, but it sits under that lip right there. So that can't back out. And I say we are now ready to start putting on this hub and we are almost complete so I put the smallest amount of uh, grease in here I mean like literally hardly nothing because uh, I mean you don't need grease in there just to keep it from seizing or rusting later on um, 
yeah so this is now ready to go in i cleaned everything out make sure there's no dirt debris in there clean this side off make sure there's nothing in there All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the difference between um, the extended stud and the studs and the stock. So this is the only real time, the best time for me to be able to show you the difference. So this is a stock Accord cup. Uh, um, this is the exact hub that was on the car on this tire here. So if you see, if I line this up in the back, uh, sorry, the camera's all messed up. But all right so you see that's in there uh, where's the stud right here so the stud does not come out it's pretty short you can't really get any good lip on that and I will show you with this in there really hard to do this with one hand but as you see these studs stick out a lot farther. Allows me to run slicks or run whatever tires I want to, any offset I want to. I can run that. Uh, you see I need to put the dust shield on. I wanna paint that. But that's what all this work was for, just to get those lugs sticking out like that. So, all I gotta do now is I'm gonna paint the dust shield, clean it and paint the dust shield, put that back on. You know what, I was actually supposed to put that on first. Skirt. Wow. I was supposed to put the dust shield on before I put the, cause the dust shield sits behind this. Skirt. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm still gonna paint it, put it on. And the knuckle Skirt. will be ready to go. I changed the ball joint, Skirt. everything's good. Ready to go back on the car.